Hello guys, and welcome back to another video for VR education. Landon Bennett here today will be talking about VR health and safety. While I ask him questions, he will be demonstrating the answers to those questions. Right? Yes, sir. Alright. Okay. So, first of all, go to pass through real quick. Now, you see a black screen. He can actually see the outside world. For some reason, we couldn't get it to work. We're using the Oculus. Hey guys. <laughs> I can see you guys. <laughs> it's the best we could do. But you can kind of see what he sees. Did no, it go out of the pass through? Huh? Did it go out of the pass through? Yeah, just for a second. Oh, yeah. okay. There yeah, it does that. Okay, it's a little bit finicky. But the point is, um, could you please demonstrate the boundary system? Yes, sir. All right, so as you can see, I am in the middle of this room here. Um, what do they see on the th screen exactly? Do they just see me waving my hands? They can also see like where you're pointing. Oh, they see what I see. Not 100%, but close. Okay. Um, so they can see the boundary if I step outside. Yes. Yeah? Okay. So, as you saw, this wall is called your pass-through boundary. So therefore, since um, we moved these chairs earlier, I don't know if you can see them, but there's chairs here, and it, the boundary kind of goes through them. But the purpose of the boundary is that you stay in the middle of the room so that you're safe as possible. Me, I'm tall. I'm like 5'11". So if I am playing a game and I'm wailing my hands around, I'm probably going to hit this light here. Um, but basically, pass-through is to make sure your health and your safety is at the maximum that it can be so that you don't die pretty much yes yes <laughs> so i'm not sure if you guys can see what i'm saying right now but this is beautiful yes so, so you you I... draw the boundary yourself yep and all of all of oculus's newest devices like this one and the quest actually come with scooch over like two steps forward as you can see, Come with I didn't know that I was actually near that. So if I saw and got too far, I would have saw the boundary. Exactly. And Oculus, all of their newest devices come with cameras on the headset. And the point of them cameras is A, for inside-out tracking for the controllers, B, so that the pass-through works, and C, so that you can actually see your surroundings. You double-tap the Oculus button. Which is this button right here on the controller. Yes. And you will immediately be able to see your surroundings in a high-definition black and white. It's a grayscale, but it serves the purpose. Like, how sure. many fingers am I holding up? Five. Um, and a normal person with a normal VR headset would not have seen that. Yes, because Oculus's products, while cheaper, I personally think are superior to HTC and the original Oculus Rift. Because it has built-in cameras instead of mounting stuff to your wall, and all of that hassle. Which is great, because... This is actually what made us make this career. Um, this channel is actually dedicated to this being so portable. Because if we had one of the normal ones, we would have had to mount our cameras on the walls in the meeting room. And that would not have been ideal. Yes, so the entire VR in education is solely based around this innovation that Oculus came up with. And personally, Oculus, I thank you. This is not a sponsored video. <laughs> um, so, yeah. If you want to sponsor us, you can. Yeah, if you want to sponsor us, you know, go for it. Um, Not that they're watching, but you know. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, um, as a normal person would know, I'm pointing directly at that lava lamp back there. And it is amazing in black and white because it is just from phenomenal. Yeah, from, from phenomenal. Phenomenal. Yeah, yeah, that word. Okay. English so, is hard. <laughs> are there any other things that you would like to tackle about health and safety? Um, I would mainly like to say once, if you do first get this, you have to take it easy on yourself. It's going to get mesmerizing. You will be playing games, watching videos, anything. But if you are standing up and playing games, I have to warn you. you your knees, my personal experience, got start, started to get weak. Don't wear a sweatshirt like I am, because it will get hot. And you'll start to sweat around like the face area where the mask or headset covers. Big thing, big thing. The school was talking about this cleanliness and how to keep your VR headset clean. So, first of all, I would like to bring up Lysol. Just spray it down. Buy a VR cover, put it over the lenses, spray the headset. That's what I do. For a very low price, you can buy a VR cover. You just put it right on the uh, mask box, uh, part. And then you just, when it gets sweaty, take it off, throw it in the washing machine, done. Um, you could probably buy them in bulk, like 50 of them probably for like... Okay, I want to elaborate on, on that. For anyone that is taking him quite seriously, because I was thinking this too, do not throw the water, the thing headset in the washing machine, please. 
That is the yeah. biggest waste of money. Yeah. I You had to elaborate a little bit, because from what I heard, I heard to throw the headset in the washing machine. And just, you get it. Just turn it on. No, yes. he means the the cloth to yeah, clean it, yeah, right? Yeah, the cloth. Um, I'm, I'm used to talking about VR, so some of the things I say, I, I know exactly what I mean. But, um... Yeah. But it just doesn't come off as yeah, it what he's supposed to be. It doesn't come off exactly right, as it was supposed to. Yeah. As I said earlier, English is hard. <laughs> English is a very hard language. Um I mean, other than controllers, I don't I think that's like all the topics. Yeah. Um technology video we'll be hitting you guys with later. And a nice YouTube YouTube VR. We're going to be reacting to some funny videos, some horror videos, even some 360 videos. Yeah, we YouTube might. YouTube has its own 360 VR video. On our main channel, uh, go subscribe to that. Flick VR Gaming. Flick VR Guys. Which one is it? Flick VR Gaming. Yeah, that one. Um, go subscribe to that. Um, yeah, we're going to be doing reactions, mainly mm -hmm. gaming, because I know that's what people want to see when it comes to VR. Um, put down in the comments below uh, what you want, really. Like... We'll put the main channel subscription in the info box or in the subscription. So, yeah. Yeah, so this channel will have no gaming at all. The most gaming it will ever has is as a background. We might put up a little background video or something. But we're keeping this channel child friendly so that we can make sure that it gets as out there into the public as possible since this is all for public schools or private schools if they want to pass, you know. Um, oh, I guess I can just move tables. Um, see, you can you can do anything in VR. Go check out our previous or post video. Don't know which one will come first. That talks about all the things that you can do in VR and all the uses of it in schools. So we'll be catching you guys next time. And see ya. just for a minute, just enjoy this view. This yeah. is what Oculus is going to bring to the future of education.